Okay, well, here we go again. Um, I'm turning 22, and I'm letting go. You know, going into this year, like, I was turning 21, and I'm like, okay, this is going to be the year that I get my life together. Like, I start rebuilding my life. Almost, I kind of had the idea, like, I was going to reinvent myself, maybe, in some ways. Um, <laughs> and uh, none of that happened. Well, I mean, I kind of tried to make it happen. I, I was thinking this is going to be like the year of community. And in a way, it turned into the year where I felt most isolated. And and in that, and in that isolation, man, like I started, I didn't start because this is what I've been doing my whole life. But maybe you've done this too. And maybe your, your mentality is do this. You impose kind of unrealistic expectations on yourself as almost like a form of of self-punishment like if you had such weak expectations of yourself just like you know and you met them then you would then you would give yourself license to feel good because you met your own expectations right and by having such unrealistic expectations and that's kind of where i stay i like have this idea that it's like it's never enough. It's not, I'm not further enough along, all that kind of thing. And, um, by doing that, you kind of, you're kind of just staying in this self, like this place of self punishment. And I feel like that's where I, I hung out a lot, um, recently and my whole life. <laughs> yeah. And, and just man, 2022 20, crap. <laughs> <laughs> like what like dude i <laughs> 22 years old that's insane for me to think you know like wh I, when i was 20 in my uh, video about turning 20 you know i talked about all these things that i thought oh, i'd have done when i was 20 uh when i turned 20 and i have, have accomplished and all that kind of thing and now i'm 22 i'm like oh dude on 20 you were at a good pace but what happened the last two years i don't even know <laughs> But I think that's the whole mentality that I'm going with here. It's it's a mentality of 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 letting go because number one, I have license to let go because Christ through his grace and his mercy has already freed me from the bondage of 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 performance and duty and all that. And so he has given me license to let go. And so like, <laughs> I think the most difficult part about kind of making this video too is like, I'm like, oh man, like I'm not where I'm supposed to be. And that's where I feel like, right? I'm like, oh, I got to get further and, and make more of myself and, and all that kind of thing. And, and, and I want to do something that matters. Like that was something that I was thinking about so many times this year, just in quarantine and all that kind of thing it was just like, I want to do something that matters. I want to say something that matters. I want to be someone that matters and that not going away, but it gets to the point where you obsess so much about that and so much of like what you want to be and be what you want to become. You just can't, you, 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 you stop letting yourself just be. Right. And, and so I'm turning 22 and I'm, I'm letting go of that. I'm letting go of, of, of all that external self-imposed pressure. And obviously it's still going to be there. And I'm not saying it's just like, I'm throwing off. I'm just going, you know, YOLO, no expectations, no responsibilities, all that. But it's like this, it's that extra stuff. It's that stuff fueled by shame that gets in there and, and really sucks the life out of you and keeps you, keeps me looking over my shoulder. Like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing enough? All that kind of thing. And it absolutely sucks the life out of you. It sucks the life out of me. And so I would rather have my productivity be stifled not and become a little less have a little less movement and be happy and content and joyful um, than, than being, you know, moving and productive and all that, but being totally miserable and, and depressed because I, I can never meet up to my unrealistic expectations. You see, I was thinking about this. I am a person that is very focused at this point in my life and have been for the last years on the future. 
It's like, what's going to happen in the future? Preparing for the future, saving for the future, working for the future, uh, you know, building skills for the future, all this stuff focused on the future. And I'm not saying that's not good, but, but, uh, but that's just kind of been my mentality. And there's, there's, there's a problem with it. And I'll, I'll tell you why. And there's some people that, that regret about the past. Like they think about the past and what they wish they would have done. And I'm there too. Like I think about that too. And not as much as thinking about the future, but it's also like regrets about the past and things you wish you would have done and all that kind of thing. But then there's another kind of person who thinks about now and lives in the moment. And yes, there can be real detriments to only living in the, the, the present with no, you know, no perspective of reflection of the past or, you know, looking towards the future and preparing for the future because you should be doing that. And I, and I appreciate that I'm that leaning because it, it makes things easier in some ways, but it also makes things sadder and, and, more, and more depressing in other ways, because I find myself in moments where I feel like I should be happy and enjoying life as it comes at me. Um, I'm, I'm almost, uh, it's an out of body experience where, where I'm still looking for what's next or, or what I need to do next or where I need to go next, as opposed to just being content and joyful and just, um, almost like a, what I want to encapsulate in this year, right? Is like a childlike wonder of just here and now. I think I could, I think I could use you know, moving my, moving the dial a little bit over to living in the moment a little bit more <clears throat> because man, like if I'm honest and I, I use these videos too, is like to, to look back on what I was thinking, um, when I was this age. And, and if I'm honest, man, like I don't live a very adventurous life. Right. And I'm not saying you need to do that, but I'm, but I guess what I'm saying is that I could, I could stand to, to be a little bit more, um, risky and I could stand to be a little bit more, um, adventurous and, and just, I don't know. And, and living life as cliche as that is, um, I just realized that, that there's been so much fear and insecurity and all that. And as I look back in my teen years, it's like, that was so imminent, um, like, man, I can just, it's like palpable when I think about those years just weaved into every moment. It's like my insecurity about whatever it was. Like, even when I think about when I used to do triathlons, um, as like a 12 year old, <laughs> like, like that, those moments were like, I always felt like the outsider, right? Like the slowest guy, all these guys were like so athletic and girls were so athletic. And I was like the, the bigger guy who just like, wasn't super fast and like, I don't know, like didn't, didn't go to public school. So I was a homeschool, a little bit outcast and just those insecurities, man, they made their way into just my outlook. And, and I kind of <laughs> like, as, as if it was this easy, cause I'm going to come back and like, I guys, I'm turning 23 and I did it. I got rid of my insecurities and fears and I let go of unrealistic expectations. And now I'm happy because obviously that's not, that's not how it works. Right. But, but I think there's a place to say, this is what I'm working on. This is what I want to be. And in some ways, <laughs> becoming who I want to be in this area actually means taking a step back and being okay with that. It's like, um, it's not about this like productivity, like habit, you know, like get in there and fix your life and become a better you. It's like, actually take a step back and and I want to, I want to embrace enjoying what God has given me today and seeing that as like the goal. Um, cause I, I, I have enough of a tendency to focus on the future that that kind of covers up for itself. Like you don't need to worry that I'll, you know, I won't be planning or strategizing for whatever. I think I could you stand to you do a little bit of less of that and, and <laughs> stand to get, you know, go do things a little bit more. And, and that's kind of where I'm at. I want to be present. I want to be present with, with what's going on because, because I think when I'm not present, 
it's because my priorities and my values are actually in wrong places. And let me explain that a little bit because when let's say I'm in a conversation with you and we're talking a little bit and I, you know, I find value in the conversation that we're having, but kind of subconsciously my mind's drifting a little bit. I'm thinking about, okay, you know, oh, what do I need to do next here? Like after we're done this conversation, where am I going? How, what do I need to accomplish? And in that moment, like me doing that, my priorities are screwed up because I see, I see, um, like that kind of conversation is not as valuable as, as doing something. And in that moment, like I can look back and say, ah, it's screwed up. And so that's, that's kind of what I'm looking at where I'm like, I, I want to just be in the moment, just be present. Um, and, and let go of these, of these false values, like these things that actually aren't worth as much as you think they are like getting to this next level of success or, you know, whatever, like, obviously, obviously, those things for me are really at the forefront of my mind, because I feel like I'm still at that stage where things could just like crumble down, and I'm left with nothing, and I got no skills, and no future, and no, all that kind of thing, like, it's at that stage where I just want to break through. And then when I break through, then I'm like, okay, now I can rest, and I can, you know, it's okay. But I don't want to miss out on this time. Like, I want to take every season that God gives me and use it. And so for me, um, my 22nd, I guess 23rd year turning 22. So I guess 20, 20, 23rd year, I want it to be about letting go of, of fear, insecurity, all that stuff. And stepping into what God would have for me now, focusing on what I can do best for God now and also letting that produce like a great joy instead of duty where it's not about having self-imposed expectations on me to like punish me to tell me I'm not good enough so then I keep working harder it's like no we can let go of that and we have a new fuel now the new fuel is love love for God love for his people love for creating and the gifts that he's given me and being able to use them that's where I want to be Well, that's all I have to say. (laughs) We'll talk again. God bless.